Hey, 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 guys, and welcome to another Tipsy Thursdays. I am your show host, the Contact Center Whisperer, the CEO and founder of Solid Rock Consulting. And this week, we are talking about what is Erlang. All right, and so this week, we have our expert guest with us, none other than Umar Tariq. Umar, thank you so, so much for joining us. I'm super excited to hop into this is this week's topic, but before we do... Okay, tell me, when did you first fall in love with workforce management? Hi, this is Umar, and uh, I'm currently broadcasting from Dubai, and the local PM, you know, the local time is 8 p.m. here. Uh, good morning in that side of the world, everybody. So, yeah, uh, workforce is, is not a job for me. Uh, it is a passion, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, there are uh, multiple fields, you know, uh, multiple platforms. But this particular field, uh, there is never ending. There's the challenges and everything. It it just not it does not even stop. You know, the yeah. moment you, you you are above, you know, everything, and then suddenly something pops up, and then then you know, like, oh, okay, now this is something I'm I'm gonna you know focus on for the upcoming quarter, and you know, multiple approaches, and and this is probably I, I can think of very few fields which can be effective in any nature of business. Uh, because it is on a uh, workload basis and you know the staff so th there's a common grounds for our basic of workforce is it's very common grounds i mean every business talk about hospitality talk about uh, banking financials and uh, you know hospitals and, and any kinds of industries we just fit right in so it's not a feel, uh, job it's it's a passion yeah, I love that. I'm cheesing so hard. My cheeks hurt right now because you said something that really resonates with me. And I always say it's never ending. Uh, when I found workforce management, it was like, I, first of all, I'm an avid learner. So I love I love learning, you know. And so when I found workforce management, it was like, oh, this is an unlimited learning opportunity it's always something new to be learning even when you understand the framework right of forecasting scheduling intraday data analysis all the different things you're still learning new ways to forecast and and new types of schedules because as the industry is shifting like one of the things that i've been talking about and predicting is gig scheduling gig economy type of scheduling uh, well rewind five years ago and people would have been like, no way, that's not going to be a thing. Now you're starting to see more and more of that. And because why people are as people are shifting and economies are shifting, so will the dynamic of workforce management. So you just have me cheesing so hard there because we are here. We are here with that. <laughs> yeah, uh, let, let me say this. So in, in a recent last five to seven years, uh, uh, the technology, uh, you know, ev um, evolvement of technologies and everything, there's so much, so much new, the chat channels, uh, the chat channels, the WhatsApps, you know, the non voices, there used to be a one telephone and now talk about the digitalization transformation, the challenges and you know, and everywhere this field just fit right in. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Yes, I love it. So all right, let's hop into this week's tipsy Thursdays. In your own words, Umar, tell me what is Erlang? All right. So in, in my own words, Erlang is it's kind of sold to the call center is, is what in my words. Uh, I mean, there are uh, two approaches available uh, wherein uh, what you call a workload calculation in any nature of business. And the other one is Erlang. Now, Erlang is a, a ultimate power, you know, ultimate power, which gives you, uh, you know, most accurate results. Uh, uh, see, usually workforce uh, main primary job is, is prediction. You know, uh, we are astrologers. I mean, we, we, are the <laughs> we are the predictors. So to predict, we, we are, uh, you know, supposed to uh, adopt the new stuff and new changes and everything. And, and especially the history of Erlang is, is very inspiring. Uh, initially, the Model B, then the Model A, then the Model C, each and every one with the pros and cons of it. And, and finally, uh, Erlang's the combination of Erlang X, Erlang Chat. So it is keep on involve, uh, you know, evolving with, with the uh, technology and, you know, trying to improve thanks to the professionals out there who are actually working towards it. I mean, you know, uh, let me think, I mean, uh, five, seven years ago, uh, similar industries, there was no concept of uh, airline chat, for example. So basically, uh, it is a, a mathematical equations, uh, uh, which 
comes into effect and uh, you know gives you the utmost um, you know absolute results in in terms of your planning and erlang is actually ensuring that uh, not only uh, one uh, aspect of business it, it ensures your uh, staffs are in right place i mean the people i mean the, the way i see it uh, erlang can help you allocate the people in the right place erlang can help you uh, you know uh, put the cost perspective in uh, uh, where exactly it is required and you know there's not uh, a losing side of, of, of anything of course our language has pros and cons of course there are some consequences also for using the uh, you know the airlines some myths about the airlines and you know uh, i believe a uh, combination of airlines is is the key to success of any bpo industry project. i absolutely love it Hey, hey, hey there, it's Juanita Coley here, and I want to personally invite you to book a WFM support call if you're currently transitioning into a new WFM solution or you're on the market for a new WFM solution. Trying to purchase a new WFM tool can be a daunting task because so many options that are out on the market. Workforce management is our niche niche skill set. Our superpower is, is being able to align that niche skill set with your CX, your customer experience and your employee experience goals. And so I want to talk to you to make sure that while you're transitioning into a new WFM solution or you're purchasing a new WFM solution, it does not impact your customer experience and your employee experience negatively. So if that is you, book a call and I'm excited to talk to you. So you are about to go into my next question. So let's actually go there for the audience. What is one, just give me one myth around Erlang or whether it's Erlang, Erlang C, B, A, any of the Erlang, right, calculation. What's, what's one of the myths that you've seen, one of the common myths? Uh, I'm not sure about myth question, but I can tell you the uh, people just think that it's one Erlang which can do the job, mm. uh, which is, Highly correct because, uh, for example, each of airline has its 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 own way of working, it, its own objective to you know where yes. where you want it. Uh, so the myth when I uh, you know understood that airline is is some supernatural force. So eventually it got into my interest and I went ahead and after hours of studies I finally was able to get what is airline. You know the math mathematics behind it. Uh, I mean we are very familiar with the extension to use, but what is the extension? Uh, it is very basic. It's it's not a myth anymore. If you really want to, you know, uh, learn. It, if you really want to learn, there's nothing called a myth. That that's what I can say. We should start a. Uh, someone's gonna take this. For a, watch. We should start like a. It's probably may already exist. If you already exist out there, let us know. Like we can join you. Like we should start like a Erling marathon or groupers, <laughs> something like that. Thank. Super excited to to do. Uh, to hear about the the platform is there to just talk about airline, you know, this is something <laughs> airline is very, uh, you know, a uh, topic not commonly used, uh, not even the interviews, uh, uh, you know, recently I've been involved in interviews and everything. It's not a question to even ask in the interviews. Yeah. It's just an extension, but there is so much. Once you understand the background of, of it, initially, you know, the phone lines, you know, the, the, the B module, wherein uh, how many lines you can have by using the B module and then later on you wanted to, it, it's, uh, uh, you know, centu uh, not centuries, but uh, decades of work for our uh, professional and uh, the mathematicians to come up with it and make our life easy. So yeah. Yeah, Mr. Erling, we're still talking about him today. Listen, last question I'm going to ask you. Tell me, what is one of the tips or strategies um, or recommendations that you can give to people um, that want, are wanting to learn more about Erlang or working with Erlang? So I believe uh, everybody in a workforce works on Erlang one way or the other or at some point in time. So uh, uh, my advice would be, let's not stick to one kind of Erlang. Uh, for example, if you are talking about an IVR perspective wherein the customer landed, uh, try using uh, Erlang B module over there and uh, uh, how many customers you can have it. And, and you know, later on when you're uh, uh, scheduling, you talk about scheduling and scheduling and forecasting. Let's go with the uh, more the combination of A and C. Now, th there's one problem though, which uh, uh, many people might not know even that Erlang is is not uh, you know Erlang cannot give you 100 accurate results, and mm. at some point, uh, you know, will stop. For example, uh, if you are staffed already on 80 percent of your uh, business module. No matter how many staffs you increase, it's going to have an impact on minimal. 
So don't target, you know, uh, stay on the course of an 80%. Let's not overstaffed or something just to achieve more. Trust me, you will achieve. Only the decimals will increase above 82% of service level or 85 or, you know, 80, 89 or something. Mm -hmm. So let's just say focus on uh, focus on the results in decimals that whether the input is actually changing the out outcome is, is one statement I can make. Mm, whether the input is changing the output. I love that. I love that. Well, thank you so, so much, Umar, for being our guest. If the people want to find you and locate you and talk your ear off about more Erlang, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on LinkedIn. It's Umar underscore Tariq 88 at yahoo.com. So you can search me out there. Uh, yeah, happy to discuss. There are actually, uh, let me tell you, there are um, uh, people who, you know, out of companies, they just message and say, hey, let's go on a project and do, uh, you know, let's see if there is an organization. Of course, within the, the privacy limits, if there is a knowledge sharing or something, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, uh, knowledge sharing and learning. So, yeah, please uh, go hit the message button to the LinkedIn and uh, I'll be there. Sure. It, it feels like this topic cannot be covered in, you know, in, in a day topic or something. It can go on and on and on. So, yeah. Absolutely. And we would love to have you back. Wow, wow, wow. I thoroughly enjoyed talking to Umar about Erlang and I love the um, myths and the strategies or the tips that he shared around, you know, like Erlang is, you know, there are multiple ones, right? So uh, calculations. And so making sure that you understand which one is going to meet the objective of what you're trying to accomplish. Love that tip. Um, also, uh, one of the um, strategies that he talked about, about, you know, making sure that you're checking inputs for outputs in incremental success, basically not, not trying to overstaff just to, you know, just for the sake of overstaffing or trying to get to another, another, uh, percentage point, because at some point you get a law of diminishing return. So I absolutely love sitting down with Umar this week in this tipsy Thursdays. If you have a topic that you want to cover, you already know what to do. Hit the inbox, hit the comments, submit your requests, submit your topic that we want to cover. If you want to be a guest expert, if it's something that we're not covering and you want to talk about it, let us know. All right. Until next time, go be great and let's make impact. See y'all soon. Bye.